Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your reading. How do they really feel about you? We're going to be looking at the truth on how your love interest feels about you, about your relationship, about your connection. Um, so thank you for watching. Drop a like if you enjoy this video. Um, more than welcome to uh, share and subscribe as well. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Um, for that as well to get updates for readings for your sign and when new content is coming out as well um, for private readings please reach out directly otherwise let's lay out some cards how is your love interest feeling okay there's someone from the past maybe a Scorpio or a Sagittarius coming through there's potentially an ex or someone you've ended things with um, they miss you, they're thinking about you, they're trying to move on, but they're struggling with this um, at the moment here, fire signs. So we've got Sag and Scorpio that have come up. Okay, the death can be the past or someone you, uh, someone in your recent past, someone that you may have ended things with, um, someone that ghosted you, who's sort of mysterious now. Death is a mystery, so it makes me feel like this person, there's someone here who's wondering about you. Um, wondering where you've been, what you've been up to, or you haven't been in contact with this person. I get a feeling that it's someone from the past or it's 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 someone like that. Um, alternatively, it could indicate there's someone who is wanting to end things right now. They're not ready for this commitment. Um, they're not proud, maybe, of how they're coming across in the relationship. They've got things to learn is what I'm guessing here. Um, and I also feel like with the temperance card, they want to take things super slow. They look, they're looking for internal balance before they kick off the relationship. So there's someone here who's sort of on the fence, okay? They might be wanting to end things. You might be wanting to end things with them. They feel an ending of sorts that's coming uh, that's coming to the picture here. Um, and this could be a prediction for some of you. Again, not for all because we're all in such different situations. So please, please keep that in mind. Um, however, seeing this with the temperance card, it makes me feel like this person is working towards inner balance. Um, and I think it's a good thing, fire signs, because if this, if this is what's happening, if an ending ha is happening because this person needs time to themselves, let them be free, let them find that internal balance and let them come back to you when there's more harmony, when there's more harmony in their life, when they've invited more harmony into their life, um, because they're going to be a different person. And sometimes we need to wait, you know, for that person. Um, to, to evolve and to change and I feel like that's something that they may be going through right now they're trying to find balance in their in their life I feel like with with the angels here the angels are like people like energies spiritual beings that care for us that look after us that protect us and it makes me feel like this person is either protective over you or this person is is talking to people about you um they're trying to get guidance on your situation. So they're, they're definitely telling friends, family members, um, you know, those that are nearest to them. They're telling these people about you um, because they want protection in this sort of situation. Now, it could be that they're being very protective over you as well. Um, but there is judgment here. So fire signs, you've judged them on something here. Their character, who they are as a lover. Um... And I feel like what I'm seeing here with, with the judgment card coming up, I'm getting a sense that they've been, they, they, they feel judged about a situation. Um, and because of that judgment that you may have passed, they've sort of put their head down and tried to move on from it, especially like um, mentally. The Swords is about mentality. Could be an argument, maybe something you said, a comment, a, a conversation. Um, but I feel like what I'm seeing here is that this person is feeling really judged or criticized. Um, so maybe the ending here is not entirely to do with the ending of the relationship. They feel like they want to end some sort of period of judgment or criticism. You know, I feel like they're more sensitive to it than you're actually aware of, or they're more sensitive to it than they actually let on. Um, and they're trying to sort of move past it. But it still makes them tense up. It's, it, it still lingers um, in this person's mind. Um, I don't know. It could be your past as well. Their past, your past that's plaguing them. 
they might be keeping something from you here as well. Okay, the death card is 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 can be seen as secrets. It's a card of sort of pe keeping things hidden, um, and in the subconscious. I, I get the sense that they may be pushing their true feelings for you into their subconscious. They might be trying to deny their feelings. Maybe they feel like they can't they can't let on what's really going on with them. I personally feel like they're going through something that's throwing off balance in their life. Could be health related, work related, family related, could even be legalities. Um, and I feel like they, this is somehow clouding their vision right now about you and about the relationship. I don't think right now that they're, they're, they've got a clear head. I don't think they've had that, that, that time to sort of clear their mind. Um, I think too much has happened. I think too much has happened that has disturbed their peace somehow. And notice how the sun is in the background. Fire signs, you are the sun, but you're in the background here. Something is dawning on them or it's rising on them. I get a sense that sort of they've, not that they've pushed you to the background, but I feel like maybe they don't want to let you in on their true problems right now. Maybe they want to keep it to themselves because the sun is in the background in both of these pictures. Um, and it could be, could be multiple things, fire signs. I mean, let's, let's be straighty 180. Um, it could be that they want to leave you in, leave you in the dark about something. Or it could be that they're not ready to, they're not ready to tell you what it is that they're going through right now. But in some ways, I feel like with the people emerging from the box, you've, you've given them life. You've given them a new lease on life. Um, somehow you've helped them sort of emerge from this box, emerge from the coffin. And maybe this is them coming out of their shell. They're still undergoing that process here. They may have other things going on. They're separating from that other person. They're leaving that person behind. They've got custody battles. They've got family issues. Um, they're trying to like, this is departures. I get the sense that there's departures here, leaving one chapter behind and starting another. I feel like this person is going through a major transformational phase um, and they're feeling it to the brim, um, but they don't want you to know that for some reason. Maybe they don't feel entirely comfortable. Maybe they've got to do something that doesn't necessarily involve you, I don't think, because the sun is coming up in the background. So it's not because of you. It's just that they don't, they're not ready to share that just yet. But I wouldn't say you're the root of the problem here. But Sagittarius is here, which means they want to be honest. Sagittarian energy is, is straightforwardness. Here we have things hidden and here we have things that are plain. I, I feel like they, they're in an energy where they're choosing what they're, that they're choosing very carefully what they say to you, what they don't say. And they're choosing very carefully what they feel, what they don't feel. Um, they're choosing very carefully what they keep hidden, okay, what they keep close to their heart, um, but at the same time, things that they want to share with you. So it's very contradictory, I would say, because both these signs represent different things. This is hidden, this is, this is truth. Maybe it's because they don't want to ruin the fun you've been having, the passion, the adventure, the stimulating, all that, all that side. Of, you know, they don't want to sort of burden the connection too much. Maybe they're doing it for a good reason. I feel like time is needed still for this person. They need more time. Time is, is coming up for them. Um, they need time to find themselves and, and find where they are comfortable with in this relationship. Um, and that's okay. You know, you need to let that happen. Um, fire signs and I think the more patient you are with this person and you don't poke and you don't prod and you don't push them I think they'll start to do these things on their own um, so I'll leave it at that fire signs thank you for watching much love everyone and until next time ciao for now lots of love and angel blessings and we'll be in touch soon